Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Saving Made Simple channel. My name is Bella and today I think I'm going to do all three big budgeting steps at once. Last week, in case you missed it, I made a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start cash budgeting from scratch. So how to break down your expenses and your bills and design a detailed custom budget that suits your needs and your lifestyle. So since I broke all that down in the last video, I figured if I do all three steps in this one, Maybe it will motivate or inspire, or maybe it'll make following step-by-step -step a little bit easier. Um, we'll see. <laughs> also, since the first two videos, which would be my budget breakdown and my um, unstuffing, are already late, uh, considering I just got back from holidays. Uh, as some of you may know, I've been saving for five or six months now for a family trip to Alberta. Well, this past week I finally went. Specifically, we went to Edmonton and Jasper. Jasper left me absolutely breathless and should easily be on everybody's travel bucket list. The mountains and everything else. I'll include a couple pictures if you're not already seeing them. I'll include a couple pictures so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about, but oh my gosh, it was beautiful there. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so I'm gonna start by doing an unstuffing and then I'm going to carry over into doing my budget breakdown and then I'm going to do my cash stuffing. So obviously I've already gone to the bank today. I've already done all of the stuff I need to do um, except for now film it all. So we'll start by doing a unstuffing. Um, move all that. Okay, so I have no cash left from my trip I had like $5 left. I spent the last 15 uh, in my wallet for my trip. I spent on the, on food on the way home. So we'll start with change. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. So we have $10 in Toonies, 11, 12. Oh, that wasn't, a, I thought that was a loony, sorry. 11, we got $1 worth of loony. 12, 13, 14, 15, all right, so there's 15, then we've got 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, there's 16, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we have $15.90 in change. So as per usual, I'm going to put a little change in the silver jar. And the larger change in the big jar, or the little jar. One of these days, these are going to go on the first time really well. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's move on to unstuffing our cash binder. This is the expenses binder. So nothing left in groceries, gas, kiddo, or fun, dining out. I did have $5 left and that was because I left that when I went to Alberta. Um, pretty much anything I had to spend in cash, I spent. So we have $5 and I think I'm just gonna throw that in an envelope because they're right here. So we'll just do that. So I'll throw $5 into an envelope. Just like that. And that's number 16, we'll put that there. I just gotta find my marker now so that I can mark off my thing. There it is. All right, so I'm just going to color in A5. I know it's a different color. I'm sorry, I couldn't find the one I usually use. So, guess. All right, throw that back in here because we will be revisiting it. Put that with it. All right, so in total we had $20.90 left over. Oh, 
I got more money now because my mom just brought back money because I had a, so I have 365 left. So plus, so in total I had $24.52. I, I just claimed a free ice cap. So I got my ice cap and they gave me my money back. So I'll put that in with these as well. So yeah, in total, in rollover, we had $24.65. One thing is definitely gonna be kind of different in the future. And that is that I no longer need to focus so much on stuffing vacation. So that kind of money can hopefully go toward my car fund, I think. Oh my gosh, get on there. Okay, that is not on right, but that's okay. We'll figure it out later. Let me move this over here. Okay, so now we'll go on to our budget breakdown. Now, admittedly, I haven't, um, I was hoping to quit my job in August. I'm not saying I won't still possibly do that, but I only filled out my budgeting book until August, like my expenses. Um, so I've got my phone bill is due on the third, so I am gonna have to pay that this pay. Um, I've got week seven and eight due before my next pay for day camp, so I'm gonna pay both of those, um, which is $340. Um, and then I've also got, um, my life insurance came out actually on the last week. I think, I think it came out on the 20th actually. So I didn't budget that word that, that came out on the 21st. So it came out the day we came back. Um, hold on a minute. Okay. Hold on a minute. So my pay is here. So, um, the, I paid 160 before I left which you guys know about. So now on the 24th and 30th or 31st, I have money due. So I'm gonna be paying 160 toward each of those, sorry. So I'm gonna be paying $320. And then when I get paid for the first week in August, then I will pay. But I did pay my, I'm going to pay my phone bill with this pay because if it comes out on the same day as my pay, then I don't want to have like basically late fees. So anyway, now that I've, <laughs> completely messed up what I was saying there. Let's get started. Okay. So, um, I did get the child tax on July 20th. Um, but I did actually take $500. This isn't something I told you guys about, but I did take $500 out of my tax free savings account to put it onto my credit card just to make sure that I had a little bit of like emergency cash just in case anything happened. So then when I got the child tax, because my child tax went up from 490 to 520, so I sent 500 straight to my tax-free savings account. So I only technically had $20. So I've actually added that to my paycheck. So um, although I did get the um, baby bonus on the 20th, I'm not budgeting it because it's all gone. Um, well, I still got 480 of it sitting on my credit card. That's why my credit card payments can be smaller this pay. Um, but yeah, I did put the rest of it onto my... Um, tax-free savings account or into my anyway okay so we've got rent 150 because that's 300 a month because I live with family um, credit I'm only going to send 100 because I have like 500 right now and that's gonna become a priority again is paying that back off but day camp as I've said is 320 uh, my sister I, I'm going to send her 30 um, phone bill is 90 and then fees is 10 so we'll add all this up so we got 150 100 320 I don't know if you guys can see this I'm sorry um, 30, 90, 10. So you got 700, which means we have 700 remaining because 14 minus seven is seven. Okay, so because my nephew is still living with me and he's 
Um, he hasn't received a paycheck yet. He has a job, he just hasn't gotten his first pay yet. So I'm still going to keep adding a little bit extra towards groceries for him. So I'm gonna go 180 over my normal 150. Gas, now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have money left over from gas. Since today is Saturday, normally I would be in my hometown, um, but uh, we did so much driving and I took my sister home yesterday with my mom and it's also 719. I had major jet lag and I went back to bed at two o'clock this afternoon and didn't wake up till six. So I'm not going anywhere today. Um, so gas, I'm budgeting 150, but there's no way I'm going to use all that because I'll be going next weekend and that's it. And then I get paid again. So I'm kind of hoping to have most of that left over, but we'll see what happens. Maybe an emergency will come up. Who knows? Maybe I'll probably, actually, I'll probably give some to my nephew so he can get to and from work. We'll have to see. So dine out. I'm only budgeting 50. And again, um, I did claim a $100 gift certificate with, uh, swag bucks. Um, I did the ultimate dining, so I got $100 towards Montana's, Harvey's, Swiss Chalet, Eastside Mario's, because um, we wanted to take that with us on our trip so that we could get free meals, basically. And um, my nephew, who lives in Alberta, so the one, that living, the one that's living with me's brother, actually ended up covering a lot of our expensive meals, and um, he wouldn't take no for an answer. We tried, so I ended up bringing that back home with me, so... Pretty much anything I want for takeout. Hopefully it'll be under that gift card because I've still got like 65 left on it. Um, we went out last night. Um, yeah, so anyway, dine out. Pets. Um, I'm in charge of cat food for both dry and wet cat food. So I'm going to do 50. Uh, fun. I don't think we're going to get up to much. Um, but I thought maybe this week I would take my son to the pool. So I put aside $20 because it's $5 a, a person per swim now. And then personal. I don't even have a reason for this, but I did put 30 aside for personal. Whether I use it or not, we'll see. Um, I think that's it for those. So we'll do 180, 150, 100, and 50. So that's 480 minus 700, hold on a minute, 480 minus 700, so we've got, that's 220 remaining. Okay, so far as, now we're going to go for savings. So my car, I'm going to be putting 150, which has been a really long time since I put a chunk like that in there emergency I'm going to be putting 30 vet I'm going to be putting um, 30 as well and then envelopes I'm going to be putting just 10 so that's 50 so 15 18 21, 22. So that is 22. All right. And the only thing we have left to do, I'm not actually going to film me writing it in this book, but that is what I will be doing next is moving the numbers just into here. Um, I'm not going to film it because it's redundant. You guys have seen it. I want to make this video as quick as possible. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my denominations. So 150, we've got 51. 20, 40, 60, 80. Gas, we got 51, 20, 40, 5, 50. Dining out, I think I'm just gonna do a 50. Pets, I'm just gonna do a 50. Fun, I'm just gonna do 20. Personal, I'm gonna do a 20 and two fives. Okay, so for Carl, we've got probably three fifties. Emergency, we're going to do 25, 5. Vet, we'll do the same. And then envelopes, we'll just do two fives. Or maybe I'll pull out a 10 from one of my other envelopes if I have one. And then we'll just do a 10 all. So then we're going to use our these. And we're going to make our little, I'll do it up here, 25, 50. So fives, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twen
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's $50. 20, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 250, so you got 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. That's 9 times 5 is 45, so 450. So 450, 650, plus 50 is 700. Okay, so that is what I would have handed to the bank which like I said, I've already been to the bank. So now we're gonna move this over to the side and I'm going to grab the, whoopsie, the cash, which honestly I never went through, so it's gonna be a mess. Um, so tell me while I'm doing this, in the comments below, what is a vacation that you have saved up for. Whether you've already gone, whether you're planning on going, let me know in the comments below a vacation that you have or will be saving up for and tell me what your end goal is for how much you're gonna save. I saved up, oh good lord, I, uh, I think I ended up taking, um, like 600 in cash for spending and I came home with like uh 75-ish and then I spent 50 on um lunch on the way home and 10 on oh I don't even remember anymore I have no idea anyway I spent everything I had but five bucks and the change so um Anyway, that's that's what I did. So tell me what you guys tell me what your guys' plans are, cause I'm curious. Oh wait, I was not gonna do this way. I was gonna do this way. Okay, and there we go. All right, so we will start with our expenses binder as per usual. All right, so in groceries, I am going to be stuffing 180. So we got 50, one, 20, 40, 60, 80. And the reason I'm doing a little more is because I've, like I've said, my my nephew is living with me currently and he is, he, he's got a job, he's just not been paid yet. Okay, open up please. There we go. Okay, so that's for groceries. Okay, and for gas, I'm going to do my normal 150. So we got one, uh, 50, <clears throat> 50, 1, 20, 40, 5, 50. And again, like I said, I'm hoping I won't be spending all of it because we, well, I won't, I already won't be going all the way to my hometown. All right, <clears throat> kiddo, I didn't stuff, but fun, I did. Fun will be getting $20. Dining out will be getting a 50. I've got laundry for you on the washing machine. Can you please take it up? Well, you don't have to do it right now. We got to do it at some point. Okay, pets. We got fifty dollars. Beauty. I'm not stuffing. I bought a lot of extra stuff for my trip, and so I'm not gonna buy any. Um, personal. I like I said. I don't really have a reason for it, but I'm gonna stuff thirty. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it on lottery tickets. Who knows? Probably not. But maybe. You never know. <laughs> You never know. You never know. You never know. All right, and medical is fully funded, and both my son and I are good for medical anyway. So let's move on to our savings binder. Okay, so vacation is spent. It's all gone, and I'm not going to worry about it right now because I'm not really planning another trip right away. 
um, emergency, I have budgeted $30 that we've got. I will count it to, oh, I'm gonna leave that in there because it doesn't fit in very well. So we got 500 already. So then we've got 25, 35, 45. So we got $545 in emergency. The other 500 is currently sitting in my tax-free savings account. Vet, I am only have 500 in. And I'm going to be stuffing 30 today. So I will have 530. Gifts, <clears throat> I am not stuffing currently, but I will go over how much is in it. So we've got 20, 20 40, 60, 80, 100, 100, 500, 100, 1500, 20, 100, 25, 130. 130 set aside for gifts, which right now I think will all be used toward Christmas. Yep. Christmas. That's, that's my little helper. Um, he just came out of the, the bath, so he's all up and ready to count, I guess. All right, car. I am going to be putting 150 into my car. Do you think you're prepared to count this one out? Yep. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll use the money. You count it, right? So we've yep. already got 1,000. So now we've got 1,000 and? 50? 100. 105? I mean, 150? 200. 200. 200. 50, 53, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, so then we're going to close this up and this last $10 bill is going to be going into my 100 envelope challenge. Um, if you guys didn't recently watch, I, Can I put that in. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't previously watch, I did decide to dumb down my um, 100 envelope challenge a little bit before it was going to be like saving like, um, how much was it? It was like 2150 which I was like, that would be an amazing amount to save up. But it's just too big of a goal for someone who was just kind of starting out. And it was really, really discouraging me. So I remade my legend. So it's only fives, tens, and twenties. There's no fifties. There's no thirties. It's just fives, tens, and twenties. Um, and I think this will prepare me really well for like doing the $5 challenge and the $10 challenge in the near future. Do you want to color one of the tens for me? Yeah. I like getting him involved because at some point this is going to be, you know, he's going to need to learn to budget. So good job. I'm going to fix it up around the corners a little bit, but there you go. So once this one's filled out, we'll have $1,000 saved up. So that's why I'm, I'm just going to keep the marker in here so I don't keep losing it because I've lost the last one. Um, yeah, but that is all I've got for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are finding some success in your own cash budgeting. Um, Make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.